Yo, welcome back, Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, I'm continuing on with the Blighted Expedition. And I guess um, I'm gonna continue on with the, well, I'm still in the first phase. I didn't quite get it finished last time. I got my freighter and uh, now I need to get to a red system. But I guess I was just exploring around a little bit looking for some stuff. And I've landed on this planet, uh, let me see here, this new Edmund in the very first system. I think this is, yeah, I think this is the very first system. The system you start out in. And on, yeah, on this new Edmund planet, there's aggressive sentinels, but there's also gravitino balls. So, uh, one of the expedition rewards, or not rewards, requirements, is here. Collect 16 Gravitino Balls, and you'll get the Scatter Blaster plans, multi-tool expansion slots, and Scatter Blaster upgrade. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to gather these. I don't want to battle the Sentinels. Uh, why wouldn't I? Because, I mean, there is a Sentinel battling milestone, but, uh, yeah, my... My multi-tool is not good for battling Sentinels. I have no weapon. I've only got mining beam, and that is not good for battling them. So I'm just gonna run away. Yes, I could install a bolt caster, but it's not really worth it in this multi-tool. I want to find a different multi-tool that's actually worthwhile, but I, I don't know if I will or not. So um, let's see. Oh, nuts! There's a sentinel outside. This this system has aggressive sent. Actually, no. This planet has aggressive sentinels. I mean, they're like. Um, let, let's see here. Uh, no, I gotta check this. They are zealous sentinels. But when I go out here, they attack me as soon as they see me. Where is it? Where is he? Over there traveling that way. Now I know there's some Gravitino balls over that way past my ship. I can actually see them. So I'm gonna try to run over there and grab them and then run. So first I'll save because yeah just in case. I haven't actually saved real recently. There we go. Well, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I had saved before I came on. But, um, yeah. Let's grab these Gravitino Balls. Get Sentinel attention. Grab them. And then run away looking for more Sentinel. Or no, looking for more Gravitino Balls. Are there any others? There's some over there. and just keep grabbing these. Convenient that they put deuterium plants here. Okay, is there any others? There's gotta be some. Just run. No! Yeah, just like this. That's the best way to get away from sentinels. There we go. Any others around here? There we go. Is that one Gravitino Ball? Just one? Oh no, a whole group. Okay, what am I at? Let's see. Uh, phase two, I'm at 13 actually, that's pretty good. I'm basically done with it. So this is an easy one to complete. There we go. And... I might as well get this while I'm at it. And, nope. Because who doesn't like buried technology? Okay. That didn't complete it? Uh, no! Run! Uh, yeah, I'm running away from my ship. That's actually bad. I should make it... Wait, here's one. Well, you know what? I could use the money, so it doesn't hurt to get extras anyway. But I'll have to check it. 
check it to see here. Oh, I didn't actually select the milestone, I wonder. There we go. Any others? Eh, yeah, they're after me. My ship is over here. Just keep making my way over here. I could use the deuterium or the dihydrogen. Just because. Yeah, you you collect dihydrogen when fleeing sentinels. Genius idea. And oxygen. Okay, get over here. Back to my ship. Now, if I was to go inside those buildings, they may lose me. But if I can stay out of their sight for another eight seconds, I'll lose them. Hopefully that's it. Good. There we go. Okay. Aha, there. That's why. Yes. Okay. Get in my ship. And I would actually go and gather more, but uh, it's just so dangerous here. I mean, there's so many, there's more, but because I could use the money, really could use the money. Where's more? Over there. Well, yeah, let's, I'm going to gather some more here. And then uh, maybe I'll just bring you back after I've gathered a bunch so I can make an income. Okay, I'm in the space station. I gathered a whole bunch of Gravitino balls. What's this guy's ship like? 16, six million, eh? Hey dude, how you doing? And he disappears, of course. Yeah, that, that happens. So I'm gonna sell these Gravitino Balls to an NPC that doesn't disappear. Okay, you're gonna disappear? He's glitching. There's so many of them there. Okay, um, yeah. Dude, uh, just, uh, I tell ya. Okay, this guy kinda just came in. Am I gonna be able to talk to him? Oh no, that's... That's somebody else's starship. Never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll have to sell these elsewhere. I don't want to really sell them to the... To the... Um, Galactic Hub, because... Or the Galactic Trade Terminal. Because that'll crash the market, and... Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Uh, one other thing I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to give myself a cape. Because, why not? Yeah, I'm changing my character a little bit in one of the expeditions, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to give myself a cape. There we go. Yes. I might as well just leave it the same color as the rest of my character. This is basically the default color anyway. But yes, a cape. Because I wanted a cape this time. There we go. Ha ha ha. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, I think I bought that already. Okay. Now, I don't think I can get... I mean, maybe I'll have to go to a different space station. Let's see if this guy is available. He probably isn't. Hello, dude. Can I sell stuff to you? Yeah, he... Guy, dude, you're, you've duplicated... Ugh. Okay. And then he's just completely gone, yeah. I, I swear, that's a glitch they need to fix. That, yeah. It's a real problem when there's multiple people in the system. Uh, if you turn off networking, then yeah, it, it'll, you know, you can handle it, it, handle it. No, there'll be NPCs that won't disappear. So, um, now let's see. If I sell those, yeah, that would be for almost 3 million. Not bad. I even have some in my ship which would sell for another 
but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to crash the market. So I'll have to find an, either a different system or something to sell these. But uh, otherwise, I wanted to go into the anomaly and get the golden vector ship because, I mean, why not? I like this ship, actually. It's got a nice design and stuff. It's pretty cool. But it's just not got a lot of slots. It doesn't. So, yeah, I mean, I... I'd like to give it more slots, but it's just C rank, and the Golden Vector ship would be better. So I'm gonna go take that out, just summon the anomaly, and maybe I'll get anything else that I have in there from other expeditions too. I'm not sure what else I would need. I probably don't really need anything else. I mean, I guess I could take the Normandy out even though I probably won't be sending out any frigate missions. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna head over here to the Quicksilver guy, grab out my Golden Vector ship from the Pioneer's Expedition. If you haven't seen that, you should check out my videos on my video series on that. I'll put a link in the description and in the upper right, if I remember. <laughs> um, there we go, Golden Vector. I don't need to compare, I'm just going to take. It's got a lot better um, slots and setup, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Now, what I need to do is switch my ship. Switch docked ship to the Golden Vector. Then... Well, let's rearrange some stuff because, yeah, it needs a lot of technology slots and it needs a lot of cargo slots. Okay, uh, let's see. Put in, put the phase beam down here for now, this down there, and this over there. This can go over there. Put the pulse engine in a nice place where I can put all these around it. I guess I'll set it there. And the hyperdrive can just go right here for the moment until I get an upgrade. Shields right here. Oh, wait. Can I put them over here? Yeah, I can. There we go. And then the teleport receiver. I can throw that in here too. I probably won't be getting any shield upgrades anyway. Okay, I have more space in here at least than I did in my other ship. Let's get all these in here. There we go. And of course, yeah. Now, switch back to my ship in, there we go. Eh. get these into my exosuit. All of this stuff. Ion batteries. I actually probably could have used them. Of course. And I've got more in there. So, yeah. <laughs> eh. Storage, I tell ya. get all these in here and now I need the next thing I need to do is 
Uh, actually, I probably could have just left those in my exosuit, but oh well. But I need to get to a red system. So, actually, while I'm in here, now that I think about it, I might as well buy the the cadmium drive, because I actually needed to do that. And I also got this. A sentinel boundary map. Uh, I, now I... I think I got this from a buried... Um, buried cache. Which is interesting to get. Okay, switch this back quick. Get more uh, stuff out of it. Get these into my high capacity because then they'll stay 10. There we go. And just getting everything out of this ship. So then I don't have to worry about switching back to it. There we go. That should clear everything. Oh no, wiring looms. Um, nuts. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? Oh, you know what? Here we go. I have personal refiner. Exosuit. Put this in the personal refiner. And let that refine. Now I need to go into the starship, claim this into here, and then switch back, and I'm done. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna head over here and buy the cadmium drive because I should have enough nanites. Not like they give it to me. They could have been generous and given it to me, but no. Okay, get over here. Come on. And, of course, I need more endurance. My character is out of shape. That's an interesting multi-tool. Let me see. Uh, C-class, though. I'd like a nice rifle, though. I really would. And I can get another exosuit upgrade, because, yeah, I need one. There we go. Now, talk to Hyperion. I need the cadmium drive. So get the cadmium drive. There we go. And... I'm probably, I wonder if I'm going to need the emerald drive and indium drive as well, but, hmm, maybe I shouldn't yet. Oh yeah, I am. Actually, let me see. Uh, nope, wrong button. Okay, so I need to visit a green star. Yeah, I'm going to need the emerald drive. Visit a blue star, I'm going to need the indium drive too. So I guess while I'm here, if I have enough nanites, I'll buy all three. Because then I just don't have to do it in the future. In before they give it to me. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Do I have enough? I have enough. Good. When I'm in a green system, I'll have to remember to... Uh, no, I, when I'm in a red system, I'll have to remember to get the cadmium to make the emerald drive. Okay, heading out. And I'm going to put this in my ship. Cadmium drive. I should have plenty of... Plenty of... Uh, chromatic metal, yes. And wiring rooms. They gave me the wiring rooms specifically for that purpose. There we go. And eventually I can just destroy this and, yeah, get two wiring rooms back and then put the ed emerald drive in and then do the same thing and get the indium drive in. Now that's a lot of gravitino balls. I just need to sell those. Okay. There we go. Now I can get to a red system. So, I'm gonna get out. Nice ship. So let's see. Where can I get to? I wanted to... Let me go on the map. 
Okay. Now, this one is, is that a red system? No, it actually looks like a standard yellow system. That's out of jump range though. All I can do is jump over to this one, which I've been to already. That's where my freighter is. So I need to jump to a red system in the vicinity. Doesn't look like there is one though. So I'll have to find one just in the general vicinity. There we go. There, oh, and that's out of range yet. Oh, come on. My, I can't have that shorter range. I mean, no, that's not a red one. Well, I guess it have to be, what was it? Was it one right above me? Miyachi. That looks red. Wait, what? I didn't exit. Okay, that's a little weird. Now I can hit M. Okay, that, yeah, that's even weirder. Okay, I was going to... Go to this one. Okay. Well, I'll warp here. Wait, what? Okay, this is doing weird stuff. Okay, finally in a red system. There we go. It, for some odd reason, it took me to the second system when I warped. Um, basically, let me see here. When I was on the map here, uh... It took me to this system when I was trying to select uh, another system, up that system up there. So, I don't know why. It suddenly changed right as I was clicking. It Yeah, it didn't make sense. But now I'm in a red system. So, there we go. It was weird and acting up. Now, I bet I won't, I don't think I can sell my... Yeah, this is an uninhabited system, so I can't sell my Gravitino balls here. Frankly, I won't even be able to teleport back here. Wait, somebody's got a, a base here? Huh. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's see. Cadmium. Uh, I need cadmium anyway. Uh, let's see. Do I have room for cadmium? I have a couple of spaces in my exosuit. Okay. I'm going to go get some cadmium down here. Because I need some anyway. See where there's a cadmium deposit. And then I need to accept some of these these milestones. So I guess, yeah, maybe what I'll do... Oh, this is a nice, interesting, strange planet. Int cool. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to find a cadmium deposit... And then maybe bring you back probably when I get out of this red system and into let's see I'll get I'll get to rendezvous one and maybe I'll bring you back then because I just need to find oh I, sh I actually should accept this I might have enough spaces uh, let's see storage augmentation and a band hyperdrive upgrade I want that hyper hyperdrive upgrade I don't know how good it is but we'll see so let's see I'll accept this. There we go. Okay. Good. There we go. I'll put this in. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, nuts. Let's see. I guess I'll have to take my hyperdrive out. Put it here. Rearrange some Gravitino balls. Put this right there. And I'll put this in. See what I get. 97. That was not worth it. Uh, oh well. <laughs> I was hoping to get something better, but no. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, I will find some cadmium and bring you back when I get to the first rendezvous system. Because, yeah, it's going to be a little bit before I get there. Otherwise, I need to do some of these others as well. That I can't get yet. But, yeah. I'll just bring you back when I get there. Because i got to find a, a multi-tool as well some sometime, I hope. Huh. Who knows. Okay, I'm in the first rendezvous system. Looks like I have to head over there. I'm going to go into the space station quick first. Navigating through all of the asteroids. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. Will I be able to sell the Gravitino balls here? I don't know. I'll see. Depends on if there's NPCs that come in and are, like, actually there and staying around rather than just, you know, disappearing. But I'll go up here and grab the exosuit upgrade, plus upgrade the slots in my ship, since I have some s slot upgrades. Okay, let's grab this. Hello, dude. Okay, grab that. They're getting more expensive every time I use it. Okay. Get some upgrades in. Uh, apply augmentation. Now let's see. The question is, I wonder how much the storage costs, but you know what? It probably doesn't matter. The high capacity cargo storage is probably more useful though. So I think I'll put that he put it here because yeah, I think it's better. There we go. High capacity is always better because it allows you to have larger stacks on some things like gravitino balls and other stuff. Okay. And I think that was all I have. Yeah, I think that's all I had for um, gatherables. Or not gatherables, the slot upgrades. Okay. Now, are these any NPCs that I can sell stuff to? Good. Okay, hello, dude. Um, offer to trade. Now, I could recruit in my squadron, too. That would actually be something interesting to do. I do need to start a squadron. But I think I need to have squadron slots. And I'm not sure if I can afford that. Frankly, I should go into my my starship and my freighter and see on that um let's see sell all of my gravitino balls wherever they are because i like selling my balls okay that's a little uh, that's a little weird but <laughs> oh well 90 of them okay so i get about four million off of this not bad five million okay that's good that's good i like that uh, I should check the uh, multi-tool here, too. Recruit life form to squadron. Uh, yeah, squadron is full. Yeah, because I have no squadron slots. Uh, um, hmm. I should go summon my freighter and see if I can unlock any squadron slots. Uh, dude, you got the same ship as me. <laughs> uh, of course, there's probably a lot of people using this ship. Now, uh, I need to get out here to the... Rendezvous 1. Actually, I should quick check my inventory, make sure all of the Gravitino Balls are gone. Yes. Okay. Now... Okay. I'm gonna head over here. And... Yeah. Get down to the rendezvous point. Finally here. Glad it's a... Uh... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay. <laughs> eh. I didn't see the edge of the... Until it was too late. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have made it... Made it from over there to over here anyway. Okay. Finally got to... Rendezvous 1. Actually took me uh, longer than it probably should have to get here. 
and I probably should be jetpacking up here, not just climbing the stairs or ladder. Because who climbs ladders when you have a jetpack? Okay, now, there we go. Recharge my life support. Might as well use that. There we go. Okay, now that I got that, let's see. So I get some exosuit expansion slots, increased with the GEC, and 2,000 gold. Okay, not bad. So I'll take that. There we go. Now I have to go ex expand my exosuit, add some more, um, you know, some more slots in my cargo storage. Oh, I should go get those too. get these. It's always good to get these. Even though they do fill up your inventory. Corvex casing. I can't get that. Don't have Atlas passes. Just get over here. There we go. Microprocessors. Those are useful. Okay, now the next thing I need to do, I've got phase one completed. That wrong button. Okay, so that gives me sputtering starship trail customization and sputtering starship trail plans. Wait, what? Gives me the customization and the plans? Oh, okay, so it'll give me... Whatever, okay. I'll take it. There we go. Probably this plan the plans to put it in my ship. Let's see what it takes. Because I'm curious. My starship is out of range. Okay, yeah. I, I have to wait until my starship's here. Okay, so the next things I need to do is get to rendezvous two. Um, locate and investigate the lost. Lost freighter. Seek the lost freighter. Okay, interesting. Visit a pirate system. I should find that. It would probably be useful if I went to get an economy scanner. Because, yeah, that would be useful. And let's see. This one, I need to f complete a freighter blighted milestone. That would be um, which one? this one. So, yeah, I have to locate... Oh, that gives me Nautilin blueprints and stuff. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, so... Just need to find that. Get... That stuff, so I might as well get the Nautilin with this stuff. I mean, for this stuff. Um, that's aquatic stuff, so yeah. I I'll have to do all that aquatic stuff with the Nautilin. Or, I can, anyway. I don't have to, but... And then steal a sentinel pillar multi-tool. Well, you know, I have a um, a map to a sentinel pillar. Maybe I should I should take it. What kind of a system is this anyway? Uh, let's see. It is a developing system, so it's not very wealthy. Be nice if I was in a, able to get to a wealthy system. Oh, okay. If I can find that, that's a pirate system. Interesting. I don't know where that is in the area. Hmm. Well, I need to get to a pirate system and locate a lost freighter, plus get to rendezvous two. So I guess I'm going to do that. And I guess I need, still need to find a better multi-tool, so maybe I can explore around. I'll, I did. I, I don't think I checked the one in the in the space station here. So I'm gonna do that, and maybe let's see. Yeah, I'll bring you back when I either get to locate a a freighter, a lost freighter, or get to a pirate system or something. Because, yeah, I gotta summon my ship here and and gather these and, yeah. 
Okay, finally, I made it to a pirate system, and I ran into a freighter battle while I was here. So, <laughs> yeah. It just threw me into a freighter battle in the beginning. Okay. Let's see what this freighter's like. It's a capital freighter. I mean, I could probably can't afford it, because I don't have, like, a hundred million. But we'll see. Other than that, yeah, I got to an outlaw system now. And I'm going to head into the space station just to, you know, maybe get some upgrades or maybe check the multi-tool, stuff like that. So head up here. Let's see. Now, I did hear that there was, like, an S-rank multi-tool in one of the systems somewhere around in this area, so I don't know if this is the system or not. Maybe it is. Okay, let's see. Inspect freighter. What is your freighter like? It's a C-rank. A C-rank. 57 million, though. I can't afford it. Compare to my freighter. Yeah, it, it it still outweighs my freighter, but still, I can't afford it anyway. So, uh, sorry, dude. Yeah, I, I'm not going to buy your freighter. But I will take payment for, for saving you. Freighter saved. Okay, cargo bulkhead? For saving the freighter? Wow. That's actually nice. I like that. Is that a change they made for the Outlaws uh, update? Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to see. Because now it's actually... I mean, if that's the case, it's now worthwhile to save freighters. Getting cargo bulkheads. That's nice. I'll have to summon my, fre uh, my freighter and put a bulkhead in. Because, yeah, that Vulcan's a welcome addition. Okay, so I'm going to head to the space station here. This is an outlaw station. Let's see what it contains. I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, buy any, like, X-Class hyperdrive upgrades. I sometimes don't even know if I want them because they're so unreliable. But, of course, that's the... That's the goal with them anyway. Okay, let's see. First, I'll get the exosuit upgrade. Oh, I should check to see what that um, milestone gives me as well. Okay, 40k for that. Yeah, expensive. Okay, let's see. That oh, wrong button. Milestone. That gives me emergency warp unit plans, microprocessors, and repair kit. Well, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I don't need the emergency warp unit, but I guess it's a welcome. There we go. Got that. Okay. So I could check these guys, but I guess let's check the multi-tool. Okay, so this is... Just a pistol, and eh, not very good. Okay. And this guy, he's the scrap dealer. And I think this guy sells upgrades for units, but I think they made them more expensive now. Yeah, 55k. Uh, let's see. Technology, oh, 74k, okay, I see. Yeah, they were pretty cheap before they made the update, and they, they updated it, of course. Now, I could get an X-Class uh, hyperdrive upgrade, if there is one here. Actually, is there one? No, oh, I don't actually see one. Okay, so there's no hyperdrive upgrade right now in this, in this area, or in this station. Oh, well. Okay. Any interesting ships? Oh, that's somebody else's ship. Okay. 
I do like the new uh, solar ships they implemented, though. They're pretty nice. Okay, so, um, let's see. I'll need to put in that cargo bulkhead. I can maybe just do that off cam. Otherwise, uh, I did get this during the space battle here, so let's see what I get out of there. Hazard protection. Okay. And this is another one for weaponry. Okay. Suspicious cyclotron module. You know, I think I'll sell that because I don't think I need it. Um, and... I mean, yeah, I guess I... This is hazard protection, so I guess I can put it in. It doesn't hurt. Let's just see what I get. Eh, it's okay. I'll leave it. Put that there. Uh, well, no, I... It'd be better to... Uh... Let's see. Put this here... There we go. Something like that. There we go. I think that's a good way to put it. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I guess that's probably it for this episode. I didn't get super far. Uh, let's see how far I actually did get. I got, a, like... Yeah, I got to the first rendezvous. I got a couple done in this one. But, yeah, I need to get even farther. I can collect this. So, I guess I'll collect this. There we go. Yeah, now I can add a scatter blaster. Which what is welcome. I can add that to my multi-tool. I would like to find a better multi-tool than what I've currently got. Because, yeah, this multi-tool is not a good multi-tool. Yeah. <laughs> really? You know, a C rank, not very many slots. Yeah. It could use a lot of improvement. But, um, yeah. That's it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment. And, of course, sh uh, share it. And, of course, come and join the Nilusion Discord. Because, yeah, it's a fun place to be and just chat and hang out and you know, just maybe watch some streams sometimes as well. Uh, I was going to sell that cyclotron module. Oh, it's in my ship. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to add a... I think I got a bunch of cadmium too, so I'll add the... the hyperdrive upgrade, which I have right here. So, add an emerald drive, if I can. Maybe I have to buy some... Uh, of course, it would help if I did the right thing. Emerald Drive. There we go. I'll just need to get some wiring looms, and I have the cadmium. Actually, I'll just destroy the cadmium drive, because I don't need it anymore. I'll get two wiring looms back, and I just need two more. Let's see if this guy has any wiring looms. Do you have any wiring looms, dude? He does not. I'll have to go find some. Hmm. That might be a problem. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll get this installed off-cam. <laughs>